I actually asked her if she was my soulmate. She said yes to the me. The Six God recently disclosed to streamer Adam Ross that Drake and Sexy Red's partnership goes beyond just music. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. That's my dog right there. That's my dog right there. That's the biggest. During his phone contact with the Poundtown rapper during his livestream interview, Ross made an attempt to ridicule the Scorpion musician. Ross gave Drake a call and informed the celebrity that he thought Sexy Red was his soulmate. She told me she was gonna rob you, I told her not to rob you tonight. You were gonna rob me! But Drizzy wasn't impressed and gave him the same kind of backlash. You're not upset. I'm still gonna rob him. Drake joked that he and Red had called off the jack move as he concluded the chat. Hey, we are gonna set you up tonight, but we, we let you fly though. I wanna announce something, but I don't know if I should say it. SAY IT! Without a doubt, one of the most popular streamers on the planet is Ed and Ross. He is, yet, also very divisive. He doesn't really have much of a filter in general. He won't hesitate to say anything, even if it offends someone. In addition, he presently has stock and kick, giving him direct control over the management of a whole streaming service. For someone so young, this is very astounding. All the same, he has made mistakes along the road that he will eventually have to own up to. Due to remarks he made while streaming with DJ Academics, Ross is becoming more well-known these days. I did fuck sexy red. Academics claim that Adam dislikes black women during this live stream. In addition, he said Ross had a predilection for Latino women. She was throwing it back, you could handle it? Nah, she was kind of being the dominant one. Ross felt a little ashamed of the entire situation. He did, however, wind up suggesting that he needed to make an announcement after all. At that point, he stated that he had slept with Sexy Red and that he had struck her up because of her sex tape. You're lying. No, I'm being for real. You don't like black girls. I do. Later in the day, Sexy Red responds after Ad and Ross revealed that they hooked up. You paid me to take your virginity. And I did just that, next. Sexy Red came to social media to clear up any confusion regarding her baby daddy's identity amid the flurry of rumors and internet conjecture around her personal life. The height of the craze, the musician was purportedly teasing a controversial new song called My Baby Dad. Fans are going crazy over the song, and it's causing a lot of people to wonder whether she's dating someone. People who speculated that Sexy Red's purported baby daddy would be incarcerated stoked the topic. Sexy Red has not revealed any information on the father of her child. Okay, okay well, let's, let's do something Because I don't, I, don't, I don't think y'all understand it. The musician, who was well known for her raw style, didn't take long to try to correct the album. If my baby daddy in jail, and I always say free my baby daddy. But she addressed the claims head on in a recent social media message, asking followers to use their antennas and exercise some common sense. But I said fuck my baby daddy. But I'm still saying free my baby daddy. She began addressing the speculations. Do y'all really think I'm pregnant by a nigga in jail? Like how do y'all think that works? Sexy red straightforward reply didn't really help to dispel any doubts. I just want y'all to use y'all antennas. We grown. I want y'all to use y'all antennas. Some fans continue to scratch their brains. On the other hand, and stop playing stupid, please. It's getting annoying. The artist's openness to interaction with her audience demonstrated her dedication to openness and genuineness. Her unrepentant stance struck a chord with her fan base in a time when celebrities typically handle rumors with silence or well-worded remarks. But in the end, it was her true self that initially propelled her to fame. Recently, Sexy Red called out Des Hilarious on The Breakfast Club, reminding the comedian of her previous misogyny. The rapper from St. Louis claims that she has seen and heard all of Jess' criticism of her, and is just not a fan. Who are you, girl? I don't mess with you, Jess. Why? What happened? It will be difficult to mend the connection now that Jess has managed to rub her the wrong way, according to Sexy Red. Welcome back, it's your host, Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. I don't sneak this nobody. You do. Bro, you really feel like that? Yeah, I do. Sexy Red declared when asked about her feelings about Jess. Me up. I just don't like being brought up, especially when people talk shit and all that. She like. went on, calling the personality out for talking shit. Jess Hilarious started to push back. I've never said I didn't like you. I never... Insisting I, that she's never disrespected the Pound Town performer. Like, I, I just be hearing shit. Like, I be seeing shit on the internet. But right. Sexy Red stuck to her guns. Oh no, I just know, like, once somebody rubbed me wrong, I just... It's, it's just, just she okay. continued, describing how she doesn't understand where the shade is coming from. You want her talking about me before? So y'all trying yeah, to play crazy? Yeah, I on Sexy Red explained. It'd be a couple times I seen you comment under something under Instagram that got something to do with me. I mean, if somebody was down to you, you wouldn't fuck with them either. I down you? I'd just be like, why? I've seen you on here talking about me before, so y'all trying to play crazy, she added, as Jess attempted to defend herself. Yeah. I didn't even know she was gonna be here today. Or you wouldn't have came. Given that Sexy Red is rapidly ascending the hip-hop game's ranks, Young Jock, who has had a lengthy career in the genre, had some advice to offer. She's not trying to pretend to be something she's not. He said during the interview. I think she's comfortable in her truth. Uh, I think she has to be careful in being exploited. Jock went on to address how Sexy Red presents herself to the public. 
He said that her choices are not a result of ignorance but rather a matter of personal comfort. Young Jock stressed that his intention was not to criticize the young artist but to offer guidance on maintaining sensitivity and discretion, particularly when it comes to censorship. Oh, he highlighted the fact that her music and persona have a significant influence on a younger audience, implying that her actions should reflect a sense of responsibility. But tomorrow you may say some shit about something totally different that pisses them off. And I'm then seeing I the way she presents herself, and it's not that she don't know better. She's promoting the whole spirit. It's what she's comfortable with doing. I'm not, I'm not gonna judge her just off of her music. I don't want nobody to think I'm knocking her. I just think she should be a little more sensible when it comes to the censorship, because these babies be listening to this you know what I'm saying. Because these babies listening to this shit, you know what I'm saying? In this interview, Young Jock's words of wisdom resonate beyond the hip-hop industry. They serve as a reminder that the path to success is not without its challenges, and navigating fame while maintaining one's authenticity requires careful consideration. Like many other rising stars, Sexy Red now has the chance to strike a balance between her artistic expression and her ability to influence a larger audience while maintaining her integrity. In other news, Red has already experienced a number of challenges rather early in her career. She had a successful year. Things are moving quickly for her, from getting featured on Drake's For All The Dogs to playing some of her biggest songs at the 2023 BET Hip Hop Awards. Comment here with your thoughts on Young Jock's statements. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.